Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Ha, Raka, Kodash, Barakatam. All right, double honors to the apostles of GMS that rule well. And salutation to all your brothers that's pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth, man. All right, we had to prophesize the downfall of America. All right, and prophesize the downfall of these other nations also, man. You know, we're in the last days, man. The last day of Esau rulership. Okay? And these are exciting times. Right? Because the so called white man is falling. As I discussed last week, the Petro Yuan is coming up. You know, and uh, the P Petro Dollar is falling apart. So for you to purchase oil in the future, you got to use the Petro Yuan. Alright? China is, 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 is trying to take over. Alright? So the name of this video China, your future is slavery. You're not taking over nothing. All right? China, you're not taking over nothing, man. The Chinese is what will go into slavery, huh? That is your future, Chinese. You are nowhere in the Bible. Okay? China, you think China, you think you're gonna be the world dominance? No, China. You're gonna go into slavery, man. You could do all those political chess moves, you know, buying up. Everything you can do that all you want, man. Because the next one's gonna come in power is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the Israelites. Okay, thus says Yahweh. So we're gonna bring out the scriptures, man. So the name of this video: China, your future slavery. You're not taking over nothing. Okay, so let's bring out the scriptures. Let's bring out the scriptures, man. Psalms two. Why? Through the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing. Yeah, you imagine Moab, you would imagine that you're gonna take over the world. We know what you're doing, man. We see the strategic moves that you are trying to do. Moab. You got a so-called Chinese of today. So when you read the Bible and you see Moab, that's referring to the Chinese today. Okay? Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves, and rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Yeah. Esau, you cast a cord from us because you took the name. You did a good job in deceiving our people with names like Yahweh, names like Jesus. Names like God. All right? All these false pagan names. All right? You did a good job in deceiving our people. <laughs> but this is what the scripture said in verse 4. He that sits in heaven shall laugh, and Yahweh shall have them in derision. So, you are going to be in derision, Moab, Esau, Ishmaelites, Hamites, and all your heathens. Y'all gonna be in derision. Most are laughing at y'all. Because China, you think you're gonna take over the world? Nah. Not what this Bible say. Not what this Bible say, man. Y'all gonna go into slavery. Alright? And these people gonna take over. Started with our power. Yahweh Bush, Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? So China, your future is slavery. You're not taking over nothing, you damn devil. You damn devil. So what China's trying to do right now, they lending money to Sri Lanka. Sri, Sri Lanka, I think they owe them about one five billion. China gave them a loan. But China knew they wouldn't be able to pay their debt. So China gave them $1.5 billion. So now they can't make payments on a loan China said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take over your seaports. Now, China leases Sri Lanka seaport for, uh, a, for a 99 year lease. So, just took over Sri Lanka uh, uh, seaport. Not only did that to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, but you did that to Pakistan. You did that to Miramar. And you do it to these other countries, man. 
you lend them this money, and you know they can't pay it back. That's the same move that IMF is doing. IMF is giving these billion dollar loans, knowing that these countries can't pay for them loans. And you're just taking over everything, man. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a chess, that's a chess, uh, a checkmate move. So now, you're taking over all the seaports. So you try to do a, a, a global trade dominance, man. Yeah, you're trying to take over the trade, man. And you just recently did a tariff on, on America, charging them taxes. Yeah, we see your strategic moves, but guess what? We're going to talk about your future in the Bible. We're going to talk about your future in the Bible, man. And your future is slavery. The Israelites got next. The Israelites is going to take over, starting with our power, Yahweh, but share me out shot. All right, so I'm going to get the scriptures, man. Psalm 60. Psalm 60. Psalm 60 verse, I start at verse 8, straight to the point. Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Moab, you love to be in the kitchen. All right, you love selling red fried rice, dog fried rice, cat fried rice to our people, man. Since you love being in the kitchen, you're going to be in the kitchen in the kingdom. All right? You're going to be in the kitchen in the kingdom. Since that's your specialty. But you won't cook righteous food in the kingdom. You're not going to be selling out people rat fried rice, cat fried rice, and dog fried rice. You wicked mother effers. You ain't going to be doing that. Your sweat ain't going to be falling into our rice, man. Your boogers and your nose hair ain't gonna be falling into our food, you wicked fuckers, you chingy eyed bastards. So that is your future, what we just read. Let's read it one more time. Psalm 60, verse 8. More as my wash pot. You're gonna wash them dishes and you're gonna cook our food. All right? Let's get the next scripture, Jeremiah 48. Jeremiah 48. Jeremiah 48. Jeremiah 48. Um. Let's get that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Pardon me, guys. My hands is cold. All right. But the word got to come out. This season and out of season, huh? All right. Jeremiah 48. I'm going to start at verse 20. It said, uh, Moab is confounded, for it's broken down. How and cry. Tell ye. Tell ye it. It is or not, and Moab is spoiled. This is your future. This is future prophecy we just read. Moab, you're going to be spoiled, man. Huh? All right, that's why I named the video China will feature slavery. You're not taking over nothing. Nothing, you damn devil. So you can do the all the strategic moves you want. All right, you create the pressure you want and have gold behind it. You're still not taking over nothing. It's your how, but she not sure going to take over. And the Israelites. Okay? So I'm going to go straight to verse 25 to 31. The horn of Moab is cut off, and its arm is broken, says your how. The scriptures say your arm is cut off, man. Your power. The power that you have now. Your arm, you need your arm, right? It's like a baseball hitter. A baseball player, right? What do you use? He uses his arm to hit that ball. 
over the stadium, right? Yeah. So it's your power. The most I said. His arm is broken. You need your arm to do things. You need arm to, to lift. You understand? You need arm to wash your ass, to brush your teeth. You need uh, your arms, man. But the most I said, his arm is broken, says your house. Making him drunk it. For he magnify himself against your house. How you magnifying yourself? You taking over all these seaports. You buying up. You buying a lot of gold. So your petrol, your your you aren't will have uh uh what's that? Gold behind it. You understand? It won't be just a worthless piece of paper. So you magnifying yourself against your howl that you think that you're gonna be the the uh the next power hitter, so to speak. That you're gonna dominate the world. But you ain't gonna dominate shit. You're gonna go on slavery. Alright? It said, making him drunken, for he magnify himself against your house. Moab also shall wallow in his vomit. And he also shall be in derision. Alright? So this scripture is telling you in Jeremiah 48, 25 through about 30, that you ain't taking over shit, man. You ain't taking over nothing. Alright? It said, and he also shall be in derision. For was not Israel a derision unto thee? Yeah, because y'all Chinese, y'all really look down on the Israelites. The Israelites today are the Negroes, Latino, and the natives. Judah, all the way down to Issachar. You look down on us, man. You look down on us. It's all good, though. Right? Because we're going to look down on you in the kingdom. You're going to be washing our pots, man. You're going to be chicken. You're going to be cooking our chicken fried rice, our beef fried rice, our lamb fried rice. You're going to be doing all that. And we're going to fuck you up in the kingdom, Moab. We're going to fuck your ass up in the kingdom, Moab. So called Chinese. For what? Um, 28. O ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities and dwell in the rocks. Run, bitch. Run. Run in the rocks. Because we're going to look for y'all, man. And we're going to hunt y'all down. Y'all chingy eyed bastards down, man. And the angel of the Lord gonna do that. Alright? It said, and be like the dove that make her nest in the size of the hole's hole's mouth. <laughs> yeah, so make a nest in those mountains, man. Make a nest for yourself. Because that's gonna be your permanent residency. We're gonna call y'all when we need y'all. Nah, man, you're, you're gonna work them fields also, man. But you're gonna sleep in them caves right along with Esau. Okay? 